Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. Have you uh, checked out our 2017 new design yet? We are launched 12 stamps and the matching die combo set in August. The pre-order is available online now and we are offer a awesome deal. Make sure you check our website for the 2017 pre-order um, special promotion. Today I'm going to show you a quick um, quick cut. So this, I'm going to show you how to use the or awesome marker to do the blending job. Um, usually you have to use alcohol-based uh, alcohol markers to do the blending and you have to blend it on the paper. But today I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to use the or awesome marker. We are going to blend it directly on the rubber stamp. The result is exactly like those uh, fancy alcohol markers. And also I am going to show you how to use these uh, four corner dies. We are offer a free corner die set when you order or a set and a B set. So make sure you go to our website and check out our pre-order promotion. So we are launched 12 combo set. This is one of our combo set and I use the, the corner die to decorate the corner. So just a quick look and uh, this is a big stamp. So one stamp will make a whole full size car. And then this is um, the other one. And we are going to um, show you how to make this one. We are going to use uh, our new design. Um, it's uh, from our B set, B6. And we are also going to use uh, our ripple background, local king uh, markers, the Versa mark, and the uh, Perlax, and the die cut in, um, die basing impact, the brush, and the stylus. So I'm going to use uh, our glossy cardstock. If you don't have a glossy cardstock, you can use a regular cardstock. Try to use a little bit better quality cardstock that the result will show better. Okay, so here's a great tip. Just to make sure when you place your stamp on the acrylic block, try to line out 90 degree and then when you stamp it, you are going to use your acrylic block as your guiding. Don't try to use a rubber stamp so that way you can get a better position. And then remember when you use the new stamp, it's a great idea to use eraser, erase the surface. Just the first time you use your new stamp, especially the shadow stamp, that will help your stamp take ink much better um, then without that. So you don't have to use a rabbit. You can use any um, stationary eraser. They will do the job. So those are our awesome markers. They come with uh, 24 colors. You get uh, all kind of color you need. It's good enough to start it. And they are only $19.99. It's awesome product. They will last at least three, four years. Um, unfortunately, we're in Canada, so the shipping is kind of pricey. Make sure you check out on, um, our website for our show schedule and uh, come to the show, pick up your marker, you save $15 for the shipping fee. So we are going to, you can choose any color for your flower. You can do um, the one color, light purple and uh, or light pink, anything you like. So I'm going to just uh, use a little um, orange. We're going to choose the three color. So that's just grab one, two, three. And I'm going to show you how you can abuse those markers. You abuse those markers, they actually work better and better. So always choose, a, you can just keep it simple, like a one color, one flower. They will do the job, but uh, there's a, um, a more you can do. When I do the demo, when I make a car, I always try to keep it simple. But sometimes you like to uh, spend more time, do a little bit blending, feel free to do that. So I'm going to use these three colors, light, medium, dark. You can do whatever you like. You can start, um, try to start with a lighter color first. That way you don't contaminate your lighter marker. You can stay um, start from the bottom or you can start from the, the top. Okay. When you color your stamp, try to keep your markers together. Don't try to color with a line because they will show. So make sure you color your markers. Okay, like a, keep your stroke together. They dry slow on the rubber, and um, so you don't have to um, worry. Take your time. And now I'm going to use the, the second color. I use a little bit orange. And I use a, a little bit red, okay, just like that. You don't have to half or stamp a hundred percent rubber, so um, the ink stay wet on the rubber. They dry faster on the stamp. So now let me bring a little bit closer. You can see the red and the orange. They kind of um have a like a big jump, right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to use my 
orange color which is my second color and I'm going to do a little bit blending on top okay so let's do this it's a little bit hard to see but I, I hope you can see better so just uh, bring just a kind of um, blending two color together okay I'm going to do this way so this is your orange this is your red see the color is kind of jump too fast right so now you're going to use your lighter color kind of breathing you can blend the um the, the the color just like that and then you use two marker you actually create three color most of the time you have to use the uh, alcohol based marker to be able to do that but our marker is awesome quality so they will do um the same job so I am going to do this one so this time I'm going to do a little bit darker red and I am going to add a little bit magenta color here okay and then if you want to you can use a, a light color try to blending a little bit here and there it doesn't matter and then we're going to color um, the leaves leaves so I'm going to just color all my leaf with the olive green. Just make sure you can color it like a partial, okay? Anything you like. This is a absolutely no skill required. So no skill, no problem, no Thailand, no big deal. Your friend doesn't have to know that, okay? So just to color, I also color half of my little frog. And we are going to use, you won't believe, I'm going to use the blue, okay? Because they like blending the color together when you use the blue with a light um, olive green, they blending color and they blending together. They actually created the other awesome color. So now you can see this is my um, olive green. This is actually the blue, and then now I'm going to use my olive green. I'm going to try to blending between. Try to hide that line. Okay, try to blending, and trust me, that create the third color. And then we are going to use a little bit um, darker green. Okay, don't worry about the detail. The design will do the job. Your job just make sure you color everywhere, no gap, like this. I am going to even add a little bit purple on my little froggy. Okay, see the white color? I don't work on the detail. If you want to, feel free to do that. It looks even better. But when I do the demo, I really want to try to keep it simple. So make sure everybody can do it. And then we're going to use a brown. Ooh, this is a black. That's okay. I'm going to change it to brown. Okay, so we're going to use a brown. Color the frame here. Okay, you can rotate your stamps like this. Make easier like this. Put the sound be dotting here, dotting there. Just make sure you color everywhere. I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna use a black just to make uh, my little the froggy the eyes a little bit dark. Okay. And then I'm going to use uh, a little bit this. Okay, scribble a little bit. You know what? Just give it a try. Don't worry about the detail. Try to start from the light to the dark. If on your stem show too much stroke, you use your lighter color, just a blending then. Okay, now you're gonna ask me, Lisa, isn't that going to ruin your lighter marker? Absolutely not. I'm going to prove, prove to you right now. So, but for you, try to start with a lighter color first. That way you don't contaminate your marker that easy. But it does happen sometimes you forget about it and you use a lighter color and darker color. So those markers, they are so moisture. See, I put on the acrylic block, you mix with a little bit of watercolor and then you can use it as a watercolor. This is a nice bright yellow, right? This is a how I don't need my marker. When this happens to your marker, don't worry. What you're gonna do is just use a wet cloth, wipe off your dirty um, marker, just wipe the tip. You get your marker back right away. One box marker will work at least three, four years. So don't worry about your marker. See, I can still talk. They stay wet on the rubber, and uh, but they will dry one, two, three on the paper. So I think uh, that's pretty much. Um, I'm going to just make sure that I color all my friend uh, frame here outline here okay like this some dotting here that's pretty much like it okay so glossy paper 
you don't have to use a glossy paper, regular car stuff, it does the same job, just make sure you get a good quality. And remember, I put my stamp um, very parallel, parallel with my acrylic block, and then when I stamped it, I am guiding with my acrylic block, so that way I will get the perfect precision. This is a big stamp, it's a 375 by 3 and quarter. So get your CPR position, you need to give a nice firm press. Okay, push, push, push. Okay, and just in case, turn over, rub, rub. Okay, are you ready? Isn't that awesome? See the blue I use my froggy? It's become, it changed it, changed it to like a turquoise color. So I use a how many color and then look my uh, my car. So, and I see the light purple. Well, I will probably do more blending, but that's okay. It all looks good. They are awesome. Okay, next, I'm gonna show you the die cut. This time when I designed my die cut, I work very hard and the image is really close. You don't even have to do the guiding window anymore. What you're gonna do is just place your die directly on top of your um, stamp image. Um, make sure it's in the middle. You know, pretty much it doesn't matter. Just uh, try to line up Probably with like a froggy's eyes, uh, the outline of the flower, they will do. And then you are going to use a reposition tape to tape it before you run to the machine. And I'm also going to show you our die cut. They are not just the die cut, they also do the embossing. See, the racing area, that's your die cut line. The whole area, that's your embossing. When you need to put the piece of rubber on top, run to the machine, that's how the uh, rubber push the paper and the create embossing. And I'm going to show you what it look like. Okay, so this is what it look like after you run through the die cut machine. The die is really detailed, but usually one run will do the job. So we're going to do the embossing. You're going to need a piece of rubber to be able to do the embossing. So I'm going to put my rubber on top of my car and put my cutting plates. This is something very important. When you run to the machine, uh, run to run your plate through the machine, make sure the rubber is on the top. If you do this, the rubber is on the bottom, you're going to cut your rubber for sure. So how do I know that? Being there, done that, it took me two rubber to learn the lesson. So make sure the rubber is on top, otherwise you will get holes. Okay, can you see the impression of the embossing? Isn't that awesome? Now I'm going to release. Always remember, um, try to peel off your um, your car from the back, so that way you can easily remove the tape. If you try to peel off from the front, usually those masking tape they will break and then they will stick um, on your car, so and then cost you extra job. Isn't that awesome? See how pretty is it? Just like that. Sometimes maybe when you place the die cut on top, maybe it's a little bit off the your image. It doesn't matter. What you're gonna do is you you're gonna we're gonna just fix it. You're gonna use a stylus, pick out like a color, and then you just gently rub. Try to hide those uh, uh, white outline. And then this is a beautiful handmade card. How long took me to do it? And then this die cut, this stamp is one of my favorite. Look at that little frog. Look at the hand. The hand. Give me five. Okay, and next I am going to show you how to use our corner die. Remember they are the free bonus when you order the A set and the B set. Um, the retail price is $11.99. You save a lot of money when you pre-order A set and that B set. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to um, make this one. If you like to learn, please check other tutorial. We have over 70 different tutorials to show you how to use your product. They are all simple and easy, very easy to make. So this one is very easy. I just use a Versamar Perlax and a soft uh, brush to create this one. So we have a four corner, um, corner die cut. On the die cut, I have marker is R1, R2, L1. L2. So you're going to just put the R1, okay, this corner, okay, and then use the reposition tape, just to tape it. And then R2 or L1, any way you like, put it here. 
like these. In the L2 or L1, doesn't matter. Okay, try to put as close as you can and make sure it's 90 degree. Okay, and one more. Here. Like this. Run through the machine. And that's how you get it. This is zigzag looking. So this is our project. I hope you like it. And make sure you check our tutorial. There's a lot of awesome tutorial. And make sure you check the tutorial number 65. Watch until the end of the tutorial. You can see a preview for the other 12 new stamp set and die cast set. They are coming the end of September. So make sure you pre-order or um, 12 combo set. They will be shipped out by the end of August. And we only have a 200 set available. The next shipment is going to come in by the end of September. Those combo set, they are not going to be available at the show floor until September. So you want to get your die cut sooner, make sure you pre-order. So thank you for watching our tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Um, send me an email. Let me know how do I do and let me know which set is your favorite set. Let me know what would you like to learn. I will willing to create a tutorial just for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.